Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, it's the Season 5 teaser trailer for Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. This is actually my, I think this is my first Camp Cretaceous video. I am pretty sure. <laughs> I could be wrong, but uh, I am quite excited and stuff. <clears throat> and the few things I want to go over is that this... um right here where everybody is running out except for Kenji so my theory on this is that uh, well I watched a couple of youtubers on this theory already and I kind of agree with them on this is that they are locking the uh, domes down and stuff maybe I don't know that will make sense with this <laughs> up in the air that would make sense but um uh, sorry <laughs> that was openings a uh, can of soda <sighs> good not sponsored anyways um uh my that's my theory is that they're locking the dome is down maybe to keep the kids in but if they're in the dome then they have to deal with dinosaurs so i can't tell what dome the, uh, i think this is the temperate dome i think i don't know so at least that's what another youtuber has said but um this might be the dome where the rexes are so big Edie and little Edie. i'm unsure but um that's how i am seeing this could be wrong and we get two new ones i'll talk about this one and then i'll go back again since i'm already on this one um this looks like manticorps island even though a big i don't know part of the island is cut off so like i don't know if this is like the full island or not but um part of this is cut off and stuff but we are also getting a bunch of little green squares all over the place now are these the the uh brads like the brad x's and stuff or are they the dinosaurs i don't know i i might i am probably thinking that's brad x not the dinosaurs at all but um i could definitely see this being the brad x's because but it wouldn't make sense why there's four brads in one dome and two brads in one dome three brads in one dome and so on so and that wouldn't really make sense of why there's so many brads all over the place across the island so this might be the dinosaurs, honestly. That could be another thing of why, uh, like, of the green squares. It could be the dinosaurs. It could be the Brad X's. Either way, it's one of those two. More than likely, probably the Brad X's. So I'm going to stick with that answer with the Brad's. But uh, a little part of me is saying that these are the dinosaurs. And obviously the yellow... Um, building or the yellow like outline right here these are the domes like we have the little domes and stuff all over the place like there's five in total so we have like the swamp the snow the uh desert the uh swamp or no the uh tropical so the tropical is probably like right here i'd say because that's where the headquarters is that cash was in in season four Spoilers if none of you have seen uh, season four of Camp Cretaceous or any of uh, seasons of Camp Cretaceous. So spoilers. I should have said that in the beginning of the video, but I'm saying that now. But um, yeah, I, I have four. <laughs> uh, what one am I missing? Oh, the temper biome. So probably like the redwood forest biome as well is also in here. So with the with Big Edie and Little Edie. We have no idea what happened to Little Edie. All we know is that Little Edie is still hurt. 
and Big Edie is still alive and kicking, but we don't know what happened to uh, Little Edie at all. But I want to fast forward right here. Right here. Uh, right there. Yeah, perfect. Right there. There are mercenaries and trucks coming off of a boat. Is this more than likely this is um Manticorp's Island, not Easel Nublar, but they it looks like that they are bringing stuff away. Like I can't tell. Oh yeah, they're taking them off the boat. I can see that now. I they're taking them it's going this way. Not going this way cuz I thought that's if they I thought they were bringing them onto the boat at first. But they're taking them off of the boat and you can fairly clearly see a Manticorp logo right there. Right here, Manticorp's logo. And right here and another one right here. This one you can barely even see, but it's right there. So, like, you could see the logos on this. But the thing is, is that they are very clearly getting dinosaurs. Then again, I don't know what island this is. I'm assuming it's Manticorp's Island. I'm assuming. But there is also another thing that I could be thinking there's a theory that I'm thinking of is that they are maybe the kids snuck on board and then they got off very quickly before anyone noticed and they're back on Easel Nublar. And they are capturing these dinosaurs, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're on Site B or something. Maybe they're on Sorna or something. I don't know. But, um... Main thing is that this is probably Manticorp's Island because I highly doubt that they would go back to Site B because we haven't seen Site B in a while. But um, I highly doubt that I we're not even sure yet. There's probably still dinosaurs on Site B more than likely. But um, because if Big E D Little E D came from there, then there's got to be still dinosaurs on there. But um, yeah, and then. This is freaking interesting. So this does not look like little... This T-Rex does not look like... Uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this might be a little Edie. At first, I thought it was Rexy from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. I thought this was Rexy, but I'm starting to see like the scar that was on a little Edie. So this might be actually a little Edie, more than likely. I don't know, because like unless this is Rexy... But this T-Rex, I, uh, I don't know. This is hard to tell. Like, the feet looks like Rexy's. But once we get to the head, I'm starting to see a scar, like, right here. And I know that Rexy did not have a scar on her snout. So this might actually be Little Edie. But Little Edie's skin, uh, like, skin is lighter than this. Way lighter. So I'm starting to think that uh, maybe they are. This is Rexy, and then this is like a fight that was previously had with Rexy. So she has a scar on her nose. I don't know uh, on her snout, but uh, I highly doubt it because we don't see it in the Dominion trailer. If Rexy has a scar on her snout, but um. I'm pretty sure this might be Rexy, but now that I'm thinking about it, this might not be Rexy. This might be, be this might be Little Edie. Sorry if I'm messing up on my words. I just woke up, so uh, <laughs> it's like two o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm still tired. I just woke up, but um, this might be Little Edie. Now that I'm thinking about it, this might not be Rexy, but like the only reason why I'm thinking this is Rexy is because mountains and stuff and then the this might be where uh they take little Edie maybe maybe little Edie is all better and stuff and they bring her to this uh to the uh tropical uh biome or dome and stuff and then they're having little Edie fight 
something, maybe Pierce again. I highly doubt it, but uh, because last time Pierce fought a T Rex, it was Big Edie, and Pierce was gonna die. So once again, sorry for the spoilers, but um, if you guys have never seen Jurassic World, uh, uh Camp Cretaceous. I'll probably got to put like a thing after that intro saying uh further on into the video there is spoilers to Camp Cretaceous. So if you don't want to get spoiled, leave the video or something. I don't know. But um yeah, so this might be Rexy, this not might be this I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if it's Rexy or not, but uh when the first time I saw it it looks like Rexy, but uh, I could be wrong now. And now, these Dilophosaurs, somebody has pointed out that these are different compared to the uh, Season 4 Dilophosauruses. Which, I agree, they look different. If you want to compare these two, go right ahead. <laughs> but, uh, just go, go to this point and then go to Season 4. I'm pretty sure there's a clip out there or something on YouTube that you can go and watch and stuff and then once they open the frill pause it and then compare it with this dilophosaur i another youtuber has done it already and i saw the two differences this one is more like a reddish uh, like a reddish pink and the other frill for the dilophosaurus it was different compared to it because it was the like the skin of the dilophosaurus is from jurassic park so, this might be a different Dilophosaurus. Like, a, uh, some people have already said that uh, it's the same Dilophosaurus, but something in their genetic code is changing their color of their frill. Yes, that might be the case, but I can, I don't see that. The, it might, these might be different Dilophosauruses that either Manticorp has cloned or that or on just on a different island with dinosaurs on them, and these are just the Dilophosauruses that are on this island. Maybe. I don't know. So, more than likely probably the Nublar and stuff, but I don't know. I can't tell where this is. This might be the swamp biome in Manticorps Island. That I could see, but uh, the other reason why I'm bringing up Isla Nublar so much, you'll see later on into the video. But, um, yeah so and this is actually why i'm bringing up nublar so much because we have the spinosaurus wasn't on nublar whatsoever but it's on manticorps island and stuff and but we have two dinosaurs here that are from isla nublar we have this Carnotaurus, and if you remember, this is Toro. But I could see why people are not, I can't see that this is Toro because you can't really see the scar here. But I can, it's probably because like his, her skin is so like burnt. Like the, like it went like not noticeable because of the burnt skin. So like that's, uh, that I can see. But, um, I should know because I burnt myself once on my arm, and yeah, that wasn't fun. But uh, yeah, so I'm because it's kind of hard to see a scar that happened so long ago after they it got after Toro got blown up. Like even after Toro got blown up, you could barely even see the scar anymore. So I'm pretty sure this is Toro. So they probably went back to Isla Nublar and got Toro. And some people are saying that this is grim. I don't think this is grim. I really don't think that because, um, for one, it doesn't look like grim. And second, I could slightly see a blue, like, color, like right here. So this might actually be chaos, maybe even limbo. So I can highly doubt that this is still grim. That's just how I see it, because so, Grim is dead. She died in season two. 
because of Tiff. So Grim is no longer alive. Yes, they could have cloned Grim. Yes, same thing with uh, Toro, but that's kind of difficult to get a Carnotaurus that looks like this just by cloning it. They either have to blow it up themselves and it survived and now it looks like this. So this is 100% Toro because you can't replicate that. <laughs> you cannot replicate the burnt marks at all. So I highly doubt that this is a clone to Toro because I'm pretty sure this is Toro because if it was a clone, it would look like Toro from season one. So that's in my opinion, but uh, I, this is Toro. This is 100% Toro right here. And this is probably either this might be Grim. And I think a YouTuber has said this could be a, a Jurassic or not a, what am I saying? This could be a dream that Yaz is saying uh, is, that blah, 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 that Yaz is having like she did in season four when all of a sudden the Indominus came out of nowhere, Scorpius, uh, Toro, the Ceratosaurus and stuff. But um, I really do not know. Honestly, I really don't know. But um, I, I, it's this one is either probably Chaos or Limbo. It's hard to tell just by the head, but uh, I'm starting to think this is might this might be Chaos because of the uh, like I could see like a little bit of the blue like right here. So this might be Chaos. I don't know. This might be Limbo, but I highly doubt that this is uh Grim because if it was Grim, then you could see a different color like right here. So I highly doubt that this is grim. But um yeah, so and then you just saw it we just saw it the Barbasol can. So this might be the Barbasol can that we saw in Jurassic Park. I don't know. It very well could be. But um it looks like it, but I don't know who's holding it because this person is wearing it watch and i can't tell what happens well if they were if they found the barbasol can then that means they're on easel nublar so same thing with the dinosaurs like toro and that baryonyx either grim or limbo or not grim chaos or limbo so if they went to go get those dinosaurs those two specifically then they would have had to go back to easel nublar you know what i mean so like they went back to Isla Nublar, captured these, these animals, these dinosaurs, and they brought them to Manticorp's Island. So, once again, I don't know if that T-Rex was Rexy. I really don't know. It probably wasn't, because then how did Rexy come back in Fallen Kingdom for Fallen... Well, obviously for Fallen Kingdom, because they either had to bring her back, or... They somehow escaped and stuff, and the campers in this season brought all the dinosaurs back to Nublar. That's, I don't know, but, um, I really don't know. And, yeah, so, I don't know who's holding this. This could be, maybe, the camp counselors, like Roxy, maybe. That could be someone that's holding the Barbasol can. Uh, then again, this might be Hawks or something, but I don't know if Hawks is wearing a watch at all. I really don't know. But this really could be anyone. I really don't know. Those are just, like, who I think it's holding it. I really do not know. But um, then later on, then we, uh, we'll talk about this first. Never mind. We get Hawks again. And now that I'm looking at Hawks, he's not wearing a watch, so... That proves that that's not Hawks. But um, he's holding on to Toro's horns and trying to put a chip inside him. Or inside her, I should say. Maybe it's a him. I don't know. I can't tell if Toro is a girl or not. But um, my theory is that they're probably putting the chip in so they can control them. Because remember, like, 
back in the scene where Spino, Toro, and either Chaos or Gr- or Limbo are right next to each other, not fighting each other. And all the mercenaries have like little like controllers and stuff. I didn't even point that out, but like if if you need to go back into the video to see that, go right ahead. But um if they're controlling them with these with these things, they're controlling them. That would make sense because Hawks is now working for Manticorp, putting the chips in the dinosaurs to control them. But that wouldn't make sense because in season four we saw that the chips don't work on adult dinosaurs. So either Cash well more than likely Cash had gotten it to work on adult dinosaurs and yeah, so and now the controlling chip is working on adult dinosaurs and now you can then have all the dinosaurs do its beating. It's bidding. I don't know. But um yeah, so and then we have uh, Sammy running and jumping on something, but uh, or jumping over. And this is the scene that I wanted to go over. Um, we have Big Edie. For some reason, none of the YouTubers or one of the YouTubers have not noticed that this is Big Edie, but this is Big Edie and stuff. But um. Big Edie is doing like a tail whip on Darius. So, um, we don't know why, but, um, my theory is, is that she's probably trying to find where her baby went. Little Edie, maybe. Maybe little Edie went missing and Big Edie's trying to find her. I don't know. And, uh, maybe Darius is trying to calm her down or something. I don't know. I really don't know. Because if you remember back in season four, if you watch season four, Darius have pulled a spike from Pierce, the Kentrosaurus, out of Big Edie's tail. So I am assuming that Big Edie trusts him because literally. Darius went up to Big Edie's face and was touching it and stuff, and Big Edie didn't even thrash, go eat him, or bite him, or anything aggressively. So I'm assuming Big Edie trusts Darius. That's just me, but I don't know. But uh, I'm assuming that's the case, and then we get those two scenes, and then we get this. Someone jumping off of a boat on a dock. Somebody said that this was Manticorp's Island. This is not Manticorp's Island. This looks like Easel Nublar because of the mountains. And then this is probably Mount Saibo right here. And stuff more mountains. So this is probably Easel Nublar. Not Snickin Manticorp. I don't know who would think that. Probably because we've been on Manticorp Island for like season, throughout season four. But... That's probably why. But, um, yeah, so this is probably Darius's brother because of the hand and stuff. And plus, a, in season four, we said that, that he was going to go find his brother. And this is probably the first place where he is going to go look is Isla Nublar, but they find out that they're not here and that maybe Manticorp was there getting, catching dinosaurs and Brandon is there. So he goes and sneaks onto the boats that Manticorp is using so they can go to Manticorp Island to find his brother. That's my theory. That would be, that would be hilarious if that was true, honestly. But I don't know. And then we have, ooh, I'll talk about this. This is the USB in season three that they used to copy Dr. Wu's information over from his laptop over there. But they were going to wipe it 
but they didn't get a chance to wipe it because Kenji uh, took it before it was done wiping. So, and then afterwards they destroyed the laptop by the ankylosauruses. So, um, everybody was wondering what happened to the USB. Now we know. So probably Hawks will find it, or maybe Dr. Wu is in this season as well. Noticed it, and it was like, what's on this USB? Plugs it in and stuff, and then it was like, it's the information that I need to create the indoor after or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and then back, going back a little bit, we have this scene where Darius, right here, this is Darius's arm, right here. It's kind of hard to tell because Brooklyn is right in front of him. But uh, we have Ben, Brooklyn, Sammy, and Yaz being chased by a bright X. So how come every time they're running away, Darius is always behind everybody? What the heck, Darius? What is wrong with you? It's hard to see you. But, um, yeah, they're being chased, and the eyes are red, so the Brad X is tasked to do something, either capture the, the campers and stuff, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be a twist, like, maybe, uh, Kenji is controlling that Brad X so they can talk or something, like they did in Season 4 with Darius. Because Ken uh, Kenji is not here. So, that's uh, that's something <laughs> that I could think about. And then we have that. The Trinodons are back. Kenji wearing a suit. And there was a scene that I didn't even talk about where May Turner pushed somebody in a suit out of the way for a Stegosaurus. That was also probably Kenji, more than likely. But we have Kenji in a suit right here and stuff. And then we have Yaz and Ben, uh, excuse me, running away from T-Rex. Uh, if I had to guess, this is probably Little Edie, but the brown is too dark, so this might be actually Rexy. I don't know. Maybe they took Rexy off the island. I don't know. But then how did Rexy go back to the island? I really don't know. But, um... I don't know. This might be Rexy. This might not. Maybe this is Little Edie, but she's older. Uh, I'm just going to keep on saying that this is Little Edie and stuff. And then shortly after, I think we get, yeah, we get this, which is probably a Little Edie chase, uh, chasing us for once or battling something. I don't know. I can't tell what uh, what T-Rex this is. This might be another T-Rex that they get from Site B or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so this might be Rexy. I highly doubt it, though. But it it it's possible that they went to go get Rexy and then they bring her back in stuff to Manticore's Island and have her fight stuff, and then they brought her back to Nublar. Same thing with Toro and uh, Chaos or Limbo or whatever the Baryonyx that they had and stuff and brought her back to the island as well. I don't know, because Rexy was in Fallen Kingdom, so they need to... Ha Rexy needs to be back on the island by Fallen Kingdom. So, I don't know. I don't know what T-Rex this is. This might be Fallen Kingdom? Or this might... Fallen Kingdom? This might be Rexy. This might not be. This might be Little Edie. I don't know. But, um... I don't know. Or this might be a new T-Rex... I have no idea. Or maybe they cloned Rexy. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, and then, so, T-Rex running. Whoops. And then it moves on to, I think, title screen, probably. Yeah. Jurassic World came contagious and stuff like that. Copyright. All that stuff. Final season, July 21st. So, which is on a Thursday, <laughs> and every other se season was released on season on a Friday, but that's interesting. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and stuff. There is going to be another video that I'm going to be recording today as well, and it's on Jurassic World Dominion, so stay tuned for that. It's also going to be coming up today on 
April 18th as well, if not April 19th, tomorrow, but um, maybe the 20th. But anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Yeah.